from turtle that's gonna switch into a darge choke, and I guess it'd be like a no gi Ezekiel. So we're gonna start at the turtle position. So a lot of times, if we get to this, like almost like a front headlock position wrestling, here and here, the guy's gonna be way more conscious of his neck because he knows that his, his neck's open there. So a lot of times, chin tucks in really tight, and it can be tough sometimes to set up a guillotine there. So let's say that we get in here, we'll spin around to the back, and we're here in this position, you know, we can threaten like we're going for the back, in wrestling, a lot of times you would put pressure here on the neck. And what we're gonna do is a lot of times, if you push somewhere on the person's body, a lot of times instinctively they just push back up. So we're gonna push in the neck a little bit. And a lot of times you'll get someone to lift their head back up because no one likes getting their face crammed into the mat. So he starts to lift. As he lifts, we're gonna take our hand and we're gonna shoot in for this guillotine and sit our weight to the, uh, to the side. So when we do this, you wanna take right here on your thumb, right here at the, the uh, right above the wrist, and this is gonna just snake around, and as we do this, we're gonna switch our hips and drop back, okay? Now the big thing with the guillotine is that we wanna keep the guy, if you draw a center line down your body, you wanna keep the person either at that center or over to the side where the neck is. So once we get here, we can go arm out, finish here. If he does get his arm in, we can still finish with the arm and guillotine right there, no problem, okay? So let's look at it again. So here and here, staying heavy, pushing on the neck here. When it starts to raise up, pivot on the right foot over here or whichever side you're at. Pivot on your foot, switch the hips and go through. Again, we throw this leg over top just to try to stop him from being able to roll through or step over. And then again, when you finish, elbow comes up, okay? Now, what will most likely happen at some point when you're doing this is that the guy will start to defend and raise up for a second. If he starts to defend, even if you can't get the second, you can't get the lock here, what we're gonna do is use what's called a chin strap grip. It's a nasty grip here that lets you control the person's uh, head. And we're going to, so we're here and here. Let's say he starts defending the neck, okay? We'll continue just to kind of keep his arm around, but I'm gonna hold this grip with the chin strap. Insert the butterfly hook, and we're gonna sweep over to the side. Now, from, there's two chokes we'll look at from this position. One is gonna be this Nogi Ezekiel, because right here on the chin strap, he's still trying to pull, but if we can hold this, we're good. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slide my hand in and put my form in right here, okay? And then as I come up, there's the choke, okay? So again, we're holding the chin strap here. We're gonna take this hand, slide it through, and then again, notice this hand's going right across the artery. This one's here, so it's not a, it's not a crank, okay? Right here. When we come up, up to your elbow here, I'm taking my elbow, posting up one, and then I want to drop my weight, and flex. The other one, let's say his arm's kind of in the way, and so I can't get that, it's a little bit more difficult to do this, we'll sit up, and then we can even start to feed through the dars. Right there, okay? So let's look at the combination again. So, in this turtle position, pushing on the head, he starts to raise up, switching through for our guillotine. Okay, if he starts to defend, okay, whether it's arm in or arm out, he starts to defend, okay, put your butterfly hook in and then get the kick to the side. Okay, if the arm's not in the way, if he's like doubled up on the wrist, slide the hand in for the Ezekiel, okay, or even let's say you have the guilty, we have the grip here, but his arm's in the way, we can sit up, shoot the arm through. And when you go for this darts, check this out. Use your elbow here to push the head down and then slide your hand through. Okay, so you came up with this arm in guillotine. Push the head down, slide through, make your connection. Again, I've got shorter arms, so it's a little bit hard for me to get the bicep. Right here, you can drive through and shrug, or you can switch your hips towards the person, and again, we just flex. So there's three chokes that you can do from that position, and they all go really well together. Anything sweet action? Yeah, the action was sweet on that. All right.